If you are as excited about SpaceX and the Starship as we are, then you are probably just as frustrated with the slow progress and the tons of delays the SpaceX Starship has suffered from. The first orbital flight is long overdue, but now we finally have very good news regarding new Starship updates and can answer all your questions. How did the Starship finally become ready to fly? When is the first orbital flight planned? What did SpaceX do to finally satisfy the regulatory agencies? Join us in this video to get all the latest Starship updates. The Starship, it is the next generation rocket, which SpaceX CEO Elon Musk wants to use to send humans for the first time in history to an exploration of Mars, the infamous red dusty and dangerous planet. It is specially built to reduce the cost of spaceflight by making it a lot more efficient than current available rockets. This will make it possible to fund an exploration of the red planet because many trips are going to be needed to sustain the mission long term. To achieve this, the Starship is going to be completely reusable and will be able to handle hundreds of launches, whilst at the same time being able to transport an enormous amount of payload, about 100 up to 150 tons, each time. SpaceX was the first company to build reusable rockets back in 2017. Although the so-called Falcon series was only partially reusable, it was still an important development. However, the space exploration company has now gathered enough experience to finally realize a fully and not just partially reusable rocket, the Starship. It is going to have two stages, the upper and the lower one, which will separate after escaping the Earth's gravitational pull. The lower stage, known as the Super Heavy, will immediately return to land, although sometimes it will not land in the real sense, because there are strong arms attached to the launch tower that will literally catch the booster midair and set it straight on the launch mount. The booster will then be prepared for the next flight within an hour. This process needs to be efficient as SpaceX targets at least 1,000 launches per year. Meanwhile, the upper stage, which is known as the Starship, will continue to its destination. Apart from missions to Mars, the Starship will be able to transport astronauts conveniently to the moon, where they can set up and sustain a moon base. It can also transport heavy cargo for the space stations very quickly, or be used to launch satellites of bigger sizes. Besides SpaceX, other companies and militaries around the world have already shown interest in the Starship and its abilities. For example, the U.S. Army has already begun evaluating how the Starship could be used to carry crucial heavy military gear or high-status personnel quickly from one point to another. The Starship company SpaceX already envisions a future where it can extend the Starship use cases to provide rapid commercial transport on Earth between big cities that cuts time traveling significantly. There is another special use case for the Starship in connection with Musk's Mars colonization plans. The spacecraft will serve as the initial shelter for Mars volunteers before they find their bearings on the harsh planet. The Starship is going to be the most powerful rocket, and it has to be capable of performing the many functions and tasks we already have mentioned. This will be possible thanks to the Raptor engines, which SpaceX has massively upgraded. With those, the Starship will be able to produce 3.2 megapound foot of thrust, and this will help lift off the 160 foot tall and 5,000 tons, or 11 million pound heavy ship of the ground. Now, very recently, SpaceX carried out new exciting static fire tests for the Starship and for the Super Heavy. SpaceX won't launch the orbital maiden flight of Starship in August, according to a radio spectrum license application the company filed with the U.S. Federal Communications Commission, short the FCC. But don't worry though, as the Mars-bound spacecraft could finally make its first orbital test flight on September 1st. That's because SpaceX set out a six-month window that opens on the first day of September. The license was granted by the FCC on Wednesday, August 10th. This new license means a Starship orbital launch may now just be around the corner. FCC Space's licenses reported the news on Twitter but urged people not to get carried away thinking Starship is certain to launch on September 1st. They wrote, Reminder, this is not the same as a launch license. It is a specific radio license for the test vehicles and does not indicate a change in status. Please do not make a YouTube video or write a 20,000 word article about this. FCC Space's licenses, which is not run by the FCC, wrote in a tweet on Wednesday. The reason FCC Space Licenses is urging people to temper expectations is that SpaceX still hasn't received a launch license for the Starship orbital test flight. Launch licenses are granted by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, short FAA, which recently published its much-delayed environmental review of Starship. 
In that review, the FAA set out a number of conditions that SpaceX must meet before launch. It's also worth noting that CEO Elon Musk and company president Gwen Shotwell have stated on separate occasions that Starship could launch in June, July, and August, meaning it's best to still take any rough launch announcements currently with a pinch of salt. That's not to say we're not nearing launch though. Starship is set to launch from SpaceX's Starbase facility in South Texas. The company is preparing for liftoff and it recently conducted a static fire engine test with both its first stage super heavy booster, called Booster 7, and its Starship prototype, dubbed Ship 24. SpaceX fired up, but only one of Booster 7's 33 engines on Tuesday, August 9th, while Ship 24 ignited two of its six Raptor engines. While the company is making steady progress towards launch, there's still a way to go before both are ready for liftoff. Both Starship and Super Heavy are designed to be fully reusable, and they are powered by a total of 39 of SpaceX's next-generation Raptor engines. The improved efficiency of Raptor 2 alongside the full reusability of the launch elements is set to greatly reduce launch and operational costs, which is one of the main factors that will allow Starship to eventually take humans to Mars. NASA, which may launch its own space launch system, short SLS, around the moon this month, targeting an August 29th launch date, has opted to use Starship for its upcoming Artemis 3 moon landing mission. SLS isn't reusable though and it will be used for Artemis 1 and 2, each of which will travel around the moon before returning to Earth. With preparations well underway, we're on the verge of two historic launches that will likely usher in a bold new era for spaceflight. SpaceX has been passing the Starship itself through a series of tests. The Ship 24 prototype is expected to be the one to carry out the first orbital flight and the crew has been working around the clock to get it ready. Early in June, the ship fully passed pneumatic proof testing on the second attempt. A day later SpaceX completed the first cryogenic proof test successfully with these basics done. SpaceX was ready to install a Ship 24 on one of the company's suborbital Starship tests and launch pads in two months the crew had significantly modified Pad A to support Ship 24's upgraded design and to put it to the test by using giant hydraulic rams to simulate the thrust of Raptor engines about 12 hours after completing the first cryoproof test, SpaceX carried out two more, qualifying as success. On the first tries, the first one involved Ship 24 venting with its nose vents indicating that both the main tanks and the smaller pair of landing propellants may have been filled and pressurized. SpaceX also likely used the hydraulic rams on the mounts to test the new Starship 24 by simulating the operation of six Raptor engines. The boss himself, Musk, has confirmed that the Starship will soon raw to life on all its engines in the first flight to orbit in July after a protracted wake. He said this on his favorite medium of communication, Twitter, which he is trying to buy. You could ask him a question about any of his companies as a fan did in June. Musk kicked up excitement to the SpaceX fandom by replying the Starship would finally be ready for its maiden flight. To orbit by July while that news alone was massive enough Musk revealed more of SpaceX's plans in the next tweet. He said another Starship would be ready in August to fly again and then it would become a monthly affair that is a far cry from the situation just a few months ago when there was uncertainty as to when the first flight would take place. This is not a small thing because it means SpaceX will produce a pair of ship and booster every month so what changed for this massive turnaround in the Starship's fortune to happen? What do you guys think? Will SpaceX be able to make the first test flight on September 1st? Let us know in the comments.